Tyler Hero. Well, there's a, a number of things that they'll enjoy, I'm sure, and they'll recognize, especially those that live in South Florida and attend Heat Games, but a Bam Adebayo dunk is just an emphatic... Welcome to All-Star Action, everyone. Kevin Harlan, happy to be here with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Tonight, the best shooters in the NBA battle it out in the three-point contest. It's time to find out which player has what it takes to beat the clock and his opponents. This is all about concentration, guys. You get on a roll, lock into that rhythm. That's what you try to do here. Absolutely, and the crowd is completely behind you, unlike when you play a game and, and sometimes they're with or against. You're watching on TV, such a different environment than a game. This is really a fun event for everyone. And so we'll see Stephen Curry. And making your money balls in this competition is critical. Uh, they account for 18 out of 40 points, so it's important to finish each rack strong. And if needed, take a little more time and focus on that money rack. He's got 10. He's got 12. Steph catching fire now. He's in the zone. Oh, here he goes. That's his fifth consecutive make. Make it 17. Drains the money ball. As you know, shooting threes is in his genes. Great round from Steph Curry. Now with 23 points. And now 24. Now he's got it. And he comes away with 26. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was going to be special. Yeah, and that streak in there, what, six in a row where, where he was really feeling it speaks to his confidence in this event. And here we go with Luke Pinar. Something the shooters have to avoid here is over-adjusting if the shots aren't falling. Yeah, you don't want to start altering your release corner or anything like that. Even if things aren't going well, that can hurt you a whole lot more than it can help. That's the stuff. <laughs> Starting to get a rhythm. That's a streak of seven in a row. At 16. Make it 17. Money ball, no good. He's at 19. That makes 21. Now at 23 points. And a score of 27 points for the round. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. I think things are so much easier when a shooter gets off to a good start, and he certainly did that. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. You know, this is really a very unique experience for the participant. You're on your own out there. Nobody can help you. And every eye in the arena is focused on you. And no question, it's a lot of fun to be in a situation like that. But, but you're right. It is a very different experience than they get on any regular night in the NBA. Hot right out of the gates. Feeling it. He's in the zone. Oh, now he's got it going. Liking that. I'm feeling all of that. Three good racks in a row shooting it well. And it's 20 now. He's got 21. Down to the final rack. That makes 24. Feeling it. Seems like he's in a nice rhythm, feeling real comfortable. And he runs it up at 29 points. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was going to be special. Saved his best for last there. Seven straight to close that round out. So it'll be Devin Booker here. And 26 points is the mark he needs to stay alive. He knows he's got quite a mountain to climb. The score in front of him is a doozy. Eleven points. Well for him. Wasting little time. Sure. Be better 
to keep it steady here. I mean, he can't miss more than two shots the rest of the way. That gives him 18. Very little room for error now. He can't miss more than one of his remaining shots. Now, 20 points. Down to the money rack. Three more points to stay in contention. That's his fifth consecutive mate. That's it. He's finding that touch. And his score comes in at 28. Wow. How about that performance, guys? Man, nice work. Yeah, that was a styling and profiling finish. He buried his last eight. And so we'll see Patty Mills. He needs to get at least 27 points here to stay in contention. That's just such a big number to reach that that may even take some pressure off of him because I'm sure nobody's expecting him to go that high. No room for error. Maybe just one miss. That's it. Now eight points. And he's done. Out. Yep. He won't have enough to make the next round. He just never got into a rhythm with the rack. the money rack needing three more buckets. And he pulls 24 for the round. I think he's pretty unlucky. He was good, but a few other players were great. So here we go with Zach Levine. He knows exactly what score will get him into the next round. And it's true. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So it's essential that a player keeps a fast pace. And for most of these guys, that's not a problem. We've got some quick triggers here tonight. And Clark, he's out. Not enough to make the next round, Kevin. Yeah, all academic from this point. Three-point round for him. Ordinarily, that'd be good enough, but there are some great scores, guys, out there today. Well, Cohen's got the honors of being able to go into the finals as the top scorer from the qualifying round. Performances all around have been off the charts. This has been a true shootout. Absolutely. I mean, we've got a great three-point contest on our hands this year, guys. And here we go with Luke Kennard. Squeaked into this round with the lowest qualifying score so far. He's the first one to go in this one. A lot of players' legs go out from under them a little bit once they reach the finals. It may not seem like a physically taxing event, but that does have some effect for sure. Sure does. And you're not worn down like at the end of a game necessarily, but sometimes you do lose some of that spring in your legs, and it affects your rhythm. At 16. 17 on the board, pushes it to 18. Five big points on that rack alone. And he buries his fifth in a row. Up to 22. He's got 23. And he posts a total of 25 for the round. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. Boy, he cleaned up on the money balls, nailing seven out of nine. So it'll be Devin Booker here. You know, the importance of getting into a rhythm early can't be understated. I mean, it's not a make one, miss one kind of deal. You need to get on the roll. You're on point there. I mean, ebbs and flows are not a good thing in the three-point contest. It's all about being steady. He's hot now, his seventh consecutive basket. That's two good racks for him back-to-back. That gives him 12. Now we're talking. Three more misses, and he's out. Now 14. And that's his third straight good rag. He's rolling. Seven more points, and he'll tie it. Oh, he's feeling it. Up to 22. Three more points, he'll tie it. Now at 23 points. And now 24. He's at 25. Got it. Taking the lead in his final round. He will be the one to beat. And that's a great position to be in, partner. And you can see he's feeling really good right now. And he walks away with a score of 28. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you can tell it was, it was going to be special. Eight straight shots without a miss to open that round. You can't really ask 
ask for a better start than that. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. We've reached the climax. He's got one last shot to go home with the trophy. After absolutely lighting it up in the qualifying round, let's see what kind of encore he can give us in the final. And guys, if it's anything close to his output in that round, it could be one of the all-time great three-point contest performances. And now we're 16. Uh, well, I think, yeah, yeah, that's it. He's done. Yep, he can't make it up in these last few shots, Kevin. Yeah, thanks for playing. We'll see you next year. So there's no need to speculate any longer. The three-point contest champion has been crowned. This year's winner, Devin Booker. Such terrific sharpshooting on display. You never know who's going to take the crown. And the crowd here just loving it, guys. I mean, we've got great seats, so it definitely gives you a sense of the moment. And the drama, the excitement. This year's three-point contest had it all. It was our pleasure to bring it to you. Every shot, terrific to watch. Now, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Thank you and good night.